This is when I learned about his background, I was pretty much impressed. You know, he's, he's an author, he's written books on the subject of fitness, personal training, health and nutrition. And come to find out, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you guys know Arnold is, right? He ran a contest, he was actually going to do a reality show, the show never aired, but he did a contest to find out who was America's top it's the placebo effect. personal trainer. Who was America's top? Regular. And they went through round after round after round, and they, you know, numerous competitions, and they got down to one where Arnold Schwarzenegger picked this guy to be America's top trainer. He's here today to speak to us. Please help us welcome Darren Steen. Come on up, Darren. Good, brother. Darren Steen, winner and reigning overall champion of Arnold Schwarzenegger's America's Next Great Trainer competition held at the 2015 Arnold Sports Festival. Easily the largest bodybuilding and fitness competition in the world. Dr. Joe Bacula, who owns and operates the number one natural health website in the world, picked Darren to train his own mother, father, sister, and brother, and two girlfriends, not at the same time, as well as his entire company, with Darren's time efficient and safe workout. Now, Darren's recognized expertise is available to you. Here now is fitness expert, award-winning personal trainer, right off the train from his transformation station. At 51 years young, he's role-modeling the fountain of youth. He's lean, he's mean, he's 215. It's Darren Steen. Right here. So I got a lot to say. I can post with teams if you want. I got a lot to say. So, Brian, thank you so much. I am blown away with this event. And everybody here is on a diamond run. Ben Quigley told me that the first rank, coordinator was the hardest rank of it. After that, it all flowed much easier. I said, BS, no way. Now that I'm this close to my coach, I believe he was right. The beginning is the toughest. You got to do your three minute videos. It's Listen to what the Diamond Ambassador is saying. Get on the podcast. Do the work. You know, this, the Diamond Ambassadors are basically all preaching the same thing. No negativity on social media. All I can tell you is, have you guys ever noticed how many of Ben Quigley's friends on Facebook are smoking hot women? What is up with that? Anyway, anyway so if you want to go on a Diamond Run, you've got to do the simple work. Right? We've all heard this. Blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go!
now. Now we're going to get a little more serious. Maybe. I do not want to talk to you in a thong. Okay. I got 11 minutes left? Nice. So, well, the, the verbiage isn't up there about what Arnold and Dr. McCullough said about me there. So, Dr. Ricola and Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold knew that he had to go towards being more genuine. Instead, the bodybuilding community who takes massive amounts of drugs and hormones, and some of them died when he retired IFPB pros, and they sell protein powders and shakes to teenagers. What's wrong with that? Please tell me. I'm one of the only ones in the world that will call out the drug and dust bodybuilding world that has enough courage. It's not right. You do not choose who you're a role model to, period, end of story. They say, let me be an adult. I'm a man. You know what? You take drugs, you lie. But one thing, the way you do something is the way you do everything. It's BS. Yes. Yeah. Dr. Joe McCullough, the number one natural guy in the world online, makes 50 to $60 million a year selling supplements. Yes, he's a little bit of a fear monger, but he gives out information about how to how to take care of yourself with home remedies. It's good information. They trusted me because I am a, I'm genuine. I'm a uh, cancer survivor, a tumor polycystic kidney removed at age two. I promised my mother and myself that I was going to be genuine in my approach to rule on the fountain of youth. On my father's deathbed, I promised my dad that I was going to take it to the next level. My stakes were going to get bigger. And when I turned professional, personal trainer, and healthy lifestyle coach in 2001 and walked away from blue collar work that was not serving me, scared to death, no one, raising a family of four, two kids, stay home wife, hunting a commission job, I left the golden parachute behind. I didn't care. I burned the boats. You know what burning the boats means? Yeah. No? Yeah. All right. For those of you who know, this country, this, these island over here, these island over here, this island wants to take that out. They come over, they land on the harbor, and the, the leader says, burn the boats, fellas, and they're like, what? He says, burn the boats. You're going to kill them, or they're going to kill you. You're not going back. Do you think they fought differently when they burned their boats, and they had no form of retreat? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, that's what burn the boats means, just so you know. And I want to say right here, I'm a loose cannon. Anything that I say is not a representative of Lexi Goldstein or Do You Like in any way, shape, or form or another. I'm not a I just am not. So, it all what the job did to you. Ben Quigley talks too much and too fast. But he's got a good heart and he changed my life, and I'll tell you in a second. Okay, I've had other victories. I'm an athlete. I was a 5 205 pounds my freshman in high school. They beat the crap out of me. But I was Rudy Rudiger, the little dog with the big fight, all right? I'm a leader. When I was three years old, I ran out of the neighborhood the guys in the little treehouse. In high school, they elected me team captain, even though I was average athletic ability. In college, three years, they elected me team captain. Semi-pro football, they elected me team captain. <coughs> Why? Whatever you say. Because I have an altruistic, loving heart. There's enough for everybody. And people are living too short and dying too long, and it's unnecessary. I believe I'm a small voice to change one person and put out that ripple effect. Next slide. So I've had other causes in my life, I'm not gonna talk about them. Because you know what, go to the next slide. Social media is rampant with, look at this beautiful person. You guys are perfect, you're all you need. You're loved, you're maybe not as connected as you should be, you have all the tools you need, all right? I promised my father, I his death that I spent a year of my life living in my mom and dad's home, thinking it was the worst thing in, in life because I get the skids and I couldn't feed myself or my daughters. So I had to go live with mommy and dad at 45 after I trained Joe Mercola. So I had this big vision and then I crashed. Okay, can you relate? Yes. So I had to live with mommy and daddy. Thought it was the end of the world. It was the best year of my life. I talked to my mommy to keep my dad at home. The fans have seen him smoking, drinking. The 50s kid, right? Cigarettes are cool, right? Well, they're not so cool. Where's Joe at? Right here. All right. I told you I was going to pin you up against the wall today. So <laughs> I said, Mom, we can help Dad die at home. We'll use hospice. He can die at home. I talked my mom into letting my dad die at home. It was the best year of my life. I'm talking things that you can, it's, there's an advantage when people die slow, right? My best buddy, we played catch, we laughed, we cried. He has eternal life now because of that. 
Do you know the difference of dying at home versus dying in the hospital? It's a difference of night and day. Can you imagine? Right? So I honored my mother and father. That was enough to get me back on my legs again. When you don't worry about your own bullshit and you worry about somebody else, then all of a sudden you become more powerful. Stop focusing on your negatives. I, I, I got a lot of negatives. Sister bipolar and depressive for 20 years, slept her life away. They said I was bipolar. I said, stop the madness. Don't label me. I'm having bipolar symptoms because of the stress of my environment. I lost a half million dollar home. My wife cheated on me. A family disintegrated. I spent money foolishly. I lost a house. I lost my family. My kids weren't talking to me. They were too young. I didn't put the Glock 45 up in my head three years ago. But my best buddy took 10 hours to get it out of my apartment, get me out of the apartment. It was close. I came back from that. Because you got peaks and valleys in life and you have a big, big goal. You can do this. No, you can't. You're, what are you talking about? You're ridiculous. You can do this. No, you can't. What are you talking about? Ever, anybody know that voice in their side of your head? Okay. So, lots of, lots of issues. So you have everything you take. Don't just take the social media stuff and say everything's great. Darren's not great. We're all incomplete. Let's go to the next slide. Um, all right, here we go. We got a big goal. We got a great opportunity. My gel test of oil. Right before you're gonna reach the diamonds, guess what? You're gonna, with a big goal. I got a big goal in my life of being the voice for reason of the true father of youth. The last time I tried to sabotage myself was the worst. I came back from the one I told you about earlier. Ben Quigley calls me up and says, Jared, try this over to gel. I'm this close to breaking through, but I'm in my bed with anxiety, calling off, canceling my clients. Again, if I don't come back from this, I'm done. I'm toast. I'm losing my business, and I'm not going to come back. I'm telling you right now. I ordered the gel. Hold me back to Gage Gates. You had me at hello, right? But buying it and putting it on is two different things. It's set on my counter. Ben gets a hold of me. You know, he was pretty uh, easy going. About a week into it, he's like, Darren, what are you doing? Put the gel on. <laughs> two days after putting the gel on, I got out of bed. I went to my club. I trained my clients. I apologized. I told them the truth. I told them I had anxiety, and I apologized. Give me one more chance. They all said, yes, we love you. We're back. The next week was better. The next week was better. 22 weeks later, I'm standing here telling you that this is the opportunity of a lifetime. It is an opportunity. Can I hear a little freaking applause? Yeah.
you know, I, I did Isaac Jennings. I did Cure. David Sandoval. David Sandoval and his top salesman, Ian Ferrari, calls me up. Do you guys know Ian Ferrari? David what? Sandoval, Cure him? Yeah. Oh, I got to be Santa. Oh, shit. Oh, um, <laughs> David Sandoval, 10 uh, Day Cleanse, calls me up. They're livid. They call me St. Louis salesman. Why? Because they're listening to distributors to do your life. Yeah, David Sandoval, he's jamming with the great, he's got a great product. He does it with food and hormones, two different things. Personal trainers, if you know personal trainers, I have personal trainers that are saying, you are ridiculous, growth hormone doesn't do that. No, it doesn't. It's the trifecta. Lexi Goldstein is brilliant. Yes. Amen. Amen. Agree? Not to put you on the spot. Ah. <laughs> legally. Yes. You understand that? I hope you do. Because if you guys aren't spending all your spare time, listen to Daniel Rich, listen to Brian Mira, who a lot of my friends on Facebook said, who is this guy off of a movie set? <laughs> so anyway, I have to go. Afterwards, please come back. I got no books to give you, but I'll send you digital books because they're all gone and they lost my hundred that I shook here, and I'll give you some, so I love you. <laughs> Oh wait. So anyway, got a quick change. I guess he wants to keep going live. Uncle Joe here, step on in for Darren while he was on stage. Let's see what's going on. Show you some crowd. There's that movie star too. Give away some some raffle prizes here. Figure I keep it going. I'm gonna have a studly Santa out here in a minute. I think the first prize is like two hundred fifty thousand cash. Oh, uh, wait, you mean you're the guy who sold the Santa? The old Santa form just took two bottles of shell. <laughs>
Still alive? Oh shit, man. Yeah, man. What's Flip going it. on? There's, there's, a, what? there's a flipper. There you go. Hey, tell him thanks. Hey, I already, I already told him what it was. He said, bro. He said he's going. He said thanks. he's going to stop smoking. Bring me something good for Christmas, all right? <laughs> help us out. What is it? Fine, I got it, right? And uh, it was the best decision of my life. So one of the top income earners in the company. Very good and long history of direct sales, team building. Please help me out. What do you guys think? I don't have my glasses. What's going on out here? Ah, ah, ah. This is exciting stuff, man. Tell me what you think. What'd you think of my talk? How can I make it better next time? I'm trying to find my glasses. I don't know where the hell I'm at. I can't, I can't read this. I'll read it later. You guys comment below. And uh, if you come on this after the live's over, uh, we'll talk it out. Love you guys. This is exciting, man. Alive. Are you still alive? Yeah. <laughs> what do you, you did think? Awesome. You did awesome, man. I love it. I sent you a bunch of pictures. Did you laugh when I said about all the pretty face well, people? Baby blush. Okay, so <laughs> it's true. Hey. I'm up here to talk to you guys about Look at this guy. Women that want to build a business that, 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 uh, that attracts them. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Sex appeal shells if you use it right. Hey, in the gel. Gel only. And if you use it wrong, it's funny. Sorry, Mom. What I'm going to talk about right now. Hey, see you guys. How do I shut this off? 